Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and also a new playlist in which we will make a little Spotify clone. So that will just be a very basic music player that has a similar design as Spotify has it. So I will just show you that here, our Spotify clone. And you can see it loads some songs here. And you can get those songs, for example, from Firebase Storage. I will show you how you can do that. But you can also just upload these to any other place. You just need the URL to these songs, basically, to stream them. This video is sponsored by myself. If you want to take your learning to the next level, then click the first link in this video's description to get to my website, where you will find over 300 quiz questions for all my videos, take notes, climb the leaderboard, and compete with other Android developers just by creating a free account. So anyways, you can see I have five songs in here and each song has a title, a subtitle, so the artist or the interpret and an image. Of course, these songs could also have different images, but just for demonstration, I have the same image here. And here you have that little field that you also know from Spotify. We can switch songs here by simply swiping them and we can play them. So then you will hear them, you will see we will have a cool notification here. We can just skip some seconds here with this button or also in the other direction of course. We can jump to the next song, we can scroll here and everything is working perfectly fine. And we also have a little detail fragment for those songs so if we click on that you can see we are navigated to this cool song detail fragment here in which we also have these controls. We can change that, we can pause, we can play, we can click here and you can see everything is working perfectly fine and of course also when we minimize the app here you can see everything is playing in background and even if we turn off the screen everything will keep playing because we want that in a service. So let's actually oops let's click on that notification to get back to the app and pause that and you can get this initial project we will work with in this series from my github repository so i will upload that to github you will find the link in this video's description if you're new to my channel then first of all welcome and i usually don't do these designs in my tutorials because i'm not a designer i'm a programmer and i also want to focus on programming in my on my YouTube channel here. So I will just give you these XML resources here so you can download them. And then we can all start together with this initial project and directly jump into coding. And for the rest of this video, I want to go through the prerequisites or the requirements you should have to start with this course. I want to go through the libraries and dependencies we will use for that project and why we use them. And also just um, talk a little bit about the basic architecture behind this project. So that is actually pretty important that you understand the whole architecture before we start with this project, because otherwise it might quickly confuse you when we implement that. Anyways, let's jump into the requirements and they are really not a lot. You don't need to know much for this playlist, but you need to know Kotlin. So I will write this anti app here in Kotlin, as you probably know from my channel. But if you're new, I do all of my stuff in Kotlin. And if you're watching this course, I assume that you know Kotlin as well. If you don't know that, then I have a playlist for that where you can learn it. I also assume that you know Android basics. So just the basic stuff that you know what recycle views are, what notifications are, what services are, basically everything I show in my Android fundamentals playlist. And since we use MVVM architecture for this app, you don't need to able, you don't need to be able to implement MVVM in an app, but you should know why we use that, what a view model is, why we have view models and all that stuff. I won't focus too much on explaining why we have that and I assume that you at least know the theory behind that. But other than that, we for example will use Dagger Hilt, which I will explain from scratch. You don't need to know that. We will use a foreground service, which I will explain from scratch. We will use Firebase Storage and Firebase Firestore, which I will also explain from scratch. That is really nothing difficult, but you don't need to know anything about that. So let's actually quickly go through the dependencies and libraries we will use here. I also teased a little bit already. 
But let's take a look in our build.gradle module app file. You can see we will just use material design dependencies just for stuff like recycler view. We will have architectural components and lifecycle stuff for view model, live data and all that interesting stuff. Coroutines, you also don't need to know a lot about that. Theory about coroutines, what that actually is, is very helpful. You can also just watch my playlist about that. The whole playlist is just about an hour and after that you know coroutines. So that's really not a lot, but we also won't use them too much in this project. Coroutine lifecycle scopes, just to limit the lifetime of coroutines when we launch them in our view model, for example. Navigation component, you don't need to know that as well. That is just for navigation, but this app really doesn't have complex navigation. We just have two fragments, one for the list of songs and one for the song detail. We will use Glide for image loading. You don't need to know about that. This is just to easily inject view models into our activities and fragments using Dagger Hilt which we'll have here for dependency injection. What that actually is, I will explain when we use that in our app. We will use Timber for logging. We will use Firebase stuff, as I said, and also coroutines with Firebase. And finally, probably the most important dependency here is ExoPlayer that will allow us to stream the songs from our remote URL. So let's actually quickly go through the architecture we will use here. First of all, as I said, we will use MVVM architecture here. So that means we will have our main activity that just hosts two fragments in our case. On the one hand, our home fragment, which is just the fragment that displays the list of songs. And we will have the song fragment, which will just serve as that song detail fragment. So the, the big player basically. And the main activity will be connected to a main view model. So the main view model will be connected to the lifetime of our activity. And we will have a second view model for our song fragment, which we will actually not need much, but we will have that for some performance reasons. I will explain when we actually implement that. Then, as I said, we have a service that just worries about playing the music because we want to be able to also listen to the music when we minimize our app. And for that, we need a foreground service and we somehow need to communicate with that service to just get all the info about the current currently playing song, for example. And for that, we will use a bound service. So clients will connect to that service. In our case, a client is just main activity or rather the main view model. So for that, we will have a service connection that just serves as a tool our main view model can use to just communicate with our running service. And that is already it for the whole architecture of our app. Usually when you use MVVM, you often have a repository. We don't need that in our app here because in a repository, you just get all the data from your data sources. Well, we have a data source here, which is our cloud storage from um, Firebase, but we actually don't need to do that in a repository because we only need those resources in our service. And in our case, we don't need that repository for structure reasons. So uh, that's already it for the architecture about this project. In the next video, we will start implementing. And I hope everything got clear to you in this video. I hope you will watch this series. You will learn a lot about media stuff in Android, about MVVM, about foreground services, a lot. So just stay tuned. And if you're not a subscriber yet of my channel, then quickly make sure to and do that. Click on the subscribe button below and you will get regular Android content every second day. I wish all of you a very nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.